71, USC on top as it's a one possession game, but the Trojans with the lead with the ball looking to add to it. Stepping in goes Peely, knocked away by Ulan, now picked up by Lou. They're going to have a quick jump ball, and Cami Etheridge does not want that jump ball to be called because it's going to stay with USC. In a perfect world, they would have taken the foul on USC. Worst case scenario, just to let them keep on going, but I guess they got the other worst case scenario. That's a jump ball because the arrow to the Trojans. Nine to work with, shot put up by Rogers, up and over the block attempt from Charlie East Ledger Walker. And India Rogers with the basket gives USC now a three point lead. 74 71 USC, minute 20 left. Crystal Ledger Walker drives it to the elbow. Looks, brings it back out to Charlize with 15 left to shoot. Bella coming over for the screen. Now a three-pointer from Charlize. That's going to go off backward and off iron. No good. And the rebound down to Desiree Caldwell. Well, we're down now to the final 60 seconds in Pullman. USC up by three in what an important possession this is. Trojans looking for a two-possession lead. The Cougars looking for a stop here. Both teams still with three timeouts but haven't used them yet. Meanwhile, maybe a timeout after this possession from the Trojans one way or the other. Meanwhile, a crossover 15-footer that banks home for USC. And a timeout will be taken by Washington State. So India Rogers gets one that rattles in off the glass. Little crossover, throws it up at the hoop. See him, Pac-12 basketball as India Rogers crossover, throws it up at the hoop and it rattles home off the Square on the backboard, and with that, our track still with three timeouts as well. Again, Cammy with two. If we do have another jump ball, it goes the Cougars' way. Each team also with the foul to give as Ula pumps up the three. That's high off the rim, no good, and a rebound down to Peely. They got a timeout taken before any foul was whistled against the Cougars. So a timeout taken by USC. And it will be Trojan Bass for Cam. Choice goes back to the players, just does not want anybody to get it. That was going to be the foul. And it comes in, again denying the ball in. Tedder's the one who picks up the foul call. Now she's got her third, and that's the last foul they gave for Washington State. 30.9 left now, and the next foul will put the Trojans into the bonus. It comes in to Caldwell. They love her at the free throw line, and Tedder's going to pick up two quick ones. And again, I'm not sure I enjoy her picking up two quick ones to get to four either, but... It is what it is, and to the free throw line, it will be Desiree Caldwell. Caldwell from the free throw line this season has shot better than 90%. She was 27 out of 30 coming into this game, 29 out of 32 now, and we can make it 30 out of 33, so she's a 92% free throw shooter right now this season. This one to make it a six point game, and that one's up and good. So it's now a th the worst option for the Cougs to have at the free throw line. Inbounds pass, fall away three from Charlize is gonna miss. Rebound to Shalexis Aaron and the timeout taken by USC. Or did we have a foul first? They are gonna call the timeout instead, give the timeout to the Trojans. So USC going to use the timeout. Have one left, but if you need a timeout late in this game, or if you don't, then I guess you go from there. I mean, well, foul away from the ball, is it? Yeah, it is. It's a foul on Grace Sarver, and that will send India Rogers to the free throw line. So Sarver will pick up the foul call. It'll be India Rogers, not Caldwell, who got it. So India Rogers to the free throw line and. Again, I'm not sure there's a ton of great options because we mentioned Desiree at just around 91%. India herself an 84% free throw shooter coming into this game. India at the free throw line, just one out of one as far as today's action is concerned. Problem that I have with Caldwell going line is not only her track record this season, but it looks like it's easy for her right now at the free throw line. And she's been there and is made four in a row. Meanwhile, they now say 25.9 on the clock is what they're at. I'm not sure if they're still discussing what should be on the clock or not. Meanwhile, they are discussing with the scores table, Mike McCabe, about something down there as they are gonna go to the monitor now to look at something. 
Not sure what this is pertaining to. Maybe they're looking to make sure they've got the right free throw shooter to the line. Doesn't look now they've got the clock at 26.4, so that's what they're gonna put it at. Apparently a half a second came off the clock. That's what it was. A half a second came off the clock and never should have because the foul occurred before the ball was even put in play. Meanwhile, India Rogers does make the free throw. One more here to make it a full three possession game and mean that the Cougs would need three threes. So the Cougs will call their final timeout with 26.4 seconds. So it comes pretty clear now. Cougs have to convert. But the Cougars are going to have to make sure that they go to work over their next five, and it's not going to be two easy teams next week in the Arizona schools. There is the quick three from the Cougars. It won't go. And again, another timeout taken from USC. Again, the Trojans, I think, are just being extra careful here that they don't turn the ball over and give a chance to the Cougars right at the overtime here. And then after the game against Arizona Friday, it'll be a game against the Sun Devils on Sunday. Meanwhile, the Cougs looking for the steal. They end up calling the foul on Grace Sarver. So Sarver will pick up the foul call and it will send USC again to the foul line. No more timeouts for Cami Etheridge, so they'll have to play this one after the make or miss. USC's got everybody away from the lane. They don't want to stop the clock anymore. And then after the free throws up and no good, after I've been singing the praise of Desiree Caldwell, she has a rare miss. So four out of five in this game. It still has only missed four on the season, and she does sink that one to make it a four-possession game. So 10 points, the USC lead. Shot put up by Crystal Ledger Walker. is going to be off the mark, though. Good battle for the rebound to USC, and this one's going to go into the books. Big win for USC. A huge win for the Cougars Friday against the Bruins, but this Trojan team presents matchup problems for Washington State. And Mark Track is going to pick up a big win over Cami Etheridge here in Pullman today. So the Cougars with the loss and USC with the win. It's USC that moves into fifth place in the conference. They're now second.